Uh, to each and every single one of you, we are happy to have you here for the second batch of students graduated from the Enmiya program. Tekbir. 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 You know, uh, oftentimes the person who says Tekbir never says Allahu Akbar, so this time we switch it up. I say Allahu Akbar too. This really is a good, um, a, a good moment for each and every single one of you in a way that oftentimes uh, we don't give the same light to achievements in Islamic knowledge that we give to our Western uh, accomplishments. Uh, whenever you know, there's a high school graduation or there's a collegiate graduation, you see people that go above and beyond for it. But I just want to share a short reminder uh, with each and every single one of you of something that Sheikh had taught me a long time ago. And I remember sitting in that uh, hotel room with Sheikh Rokasha and um, I told him at that point maybe we had uh, done like maybe like uh, so many classes on Friday night, Friday night program, Saturday after Fajr, then a uh, special session with sisters after Dhuhr, and then uh, something else for the community after uh, that. And there's just going and going and going and going. And I asked him for permission to, to just kind of share my thoughts on what those classes were like. And uh, of course, Alhamdulillah, Sheikh, he, he said, you know, go ahead and share. And I, I likened it to um, like the difference between a light bulb and a, and a laser pointer. You know, whenever Sheikh is just doing community program, it's like a light bulb. It turns on, it lights up the whole spot, you know? But whenever Sheikh is opening a metan or going over a mat uh, matun or something, because one of the first classes he had taught in our community was actually the text of Ha'iya. Um, it's like so fine that it just points out everything and it just is really illuminating. So I asked Sheikh, like, what do you prefer to do? Because I see that you're doing a lot of stuff that people are asking you to do. What do you prefer to do? And he said that he wants to be able to sit down and he wants to be able to teach these texts. And then he told me about this idea of al hirs this idea. It was a long time ago that I want to be able to sit down and go to the Matun. He gave the example of a man by the name of Matthew Kearney. Have any of you ever heard of him? Matthew Kearney. He was uh, someone who by the time he was like six years old, he graduated from high school. And by the time he was eight, he actually uh, had completed an associate's in the science. By the time he was 12, he'd done his first master's. And by the time he was 14, he completed a second master's. And by our standard of education in the West, you would say that that person is a genius. But if you ask Matthew Kearney, say, tell me one page from memory that you'd, of all these texts that you had studied, just one page from memory, he wouldn't be able to do it. Compare that to someone like Imam Muhammad ibn Ismail al-Bukhari. By the time he was nine, he memorized 70,000 hadith with their Asanid, considered a scholar, completely different level. But we wouldn't consider him to be a genius in Western society because the metric was different. What if we were able to take that old school way of learning, the likes of Imam Bukhari? It's not that it's impossible, it's just not as accessible. This was something that Sheikh has shared all those years ago. And now, alhamdulillah, we're looking at the second batch of students. Um, it, it remains each and every single one of you remain an unending inspiration to me in the fact that you guys are, are doing this because it really is a testament that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserves this religion in the hearts of the ones who want to commit to really preserving the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I think often back on that. I think 12 years in America for public studies. How many hours do you spend in school? <laughs> How many hours going through the hallways, so on and so forth? How many hours traversing college campuses? All for it to culminate to this moment where you get this piece of paper that you can't eat, that you can't drink. If you were stranded on an island, it would mean nothing. If you go somewhere else, subhanAllah, you dedicate so much time to get this social accomplishment. And with the right intention, of course, there can be a lot of hasanat in it, a lot of opportunities for da'wah, a lot of opportunities for social growth, using that education that you have as a means of uh, accumulating wealth so that you can put yourself in a position to give back to the ummah, to give back to your community. But even then, that piece of paper is not a guarantee, despite all the time that you put into it. Now think about the time that you put into this El Mio program. Think about the text that you memorized. Think about how it went from being a piece of paper or maybe a PDF on a screen, and now it's something that's preserved in your hearts. SubhanAllah. 
Investing that time is a testament that if we don't spend our time wisely, innal insan illa fi khus. Indeed, we will all be in manifest lost. We live in a time where many people are questioning the nature of their existence. We just came out of Pride Month and now you're going to see National Pride with the 4th of July and all of these different things that are happening. People showing more pride in Independence Day than our Eid that's coming up in this month. It's because of how we spend our time, the things that we spend our time on. Looking at this audience of young men and women, we spend a lot of time playing video games. We spend a lot of time doing a lot of different stuff that doesn't necessarily enrich us for this life or the next. May Allah forgive us and place barakah in our time. But this time that you put in with Ilmiya, Wallahi, Al Hasib, the one who takes everything into account, will not let this go in vain. So don't let this time just go by like it never happened. Be sure to take the investment in this time as our Sheikh Iliad has shared with us and give back to the community. Make sure that you use the time that you invested in this because the only ones who are exempt from what Allah promised to be true of all of humanity being in manifest loss except for the ones who believe and alhamdulillah you study texts on belief and do good deeds and look at the imams whose texts that you studied, whose lives that you looked into from the Asanid of Arba'in to the authors of the texts that you had gone over. Look at how they translated that faith into good actions as a means of preserving the truth and how much time do you think it took for them to put in, in learning for them to make a nadam for you to memorize, subhanAllah, the truth, and Allah is al-haq, and this deen is the haq. And we are the ambassadors of the Prophet wasallam in everything that he said, wallahi, we swear to God, it is the truth. And of course, with that journey of being ambassadors of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, you're going to have to have patience. Just like how it took patience to memorize the matun and to recite them back to Shaykh, same patience to make sure that you continue to review. Same patience it's going to take for your future students as well and your contributions to the community. So inshallah ta'ala, we ask Allah to place barakah in our time and to make the time that you spent in Anmiya a proof for you, for this life and the next, for your family, for those who helped you in this journey to make it to this point. Allahumma ameen. And then we will just have a, a few words inshallah from uh, Hafid Salman who was from the first batch of students. Uh, just a reflection inshallah ta'ala and uh, some advice for the uh, this batch of students as well. Jazakallah khair. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Firstly, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this great blessing for being here. Uh, just looking around, we see how few we are here compared to the rest of the world. But we see how big the blessing is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. To even mention his name, to mention the name of his prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then to study with our beloved shaykh. Alhamdulillah. After that, uh, I congratulate every single one of you, uh, Sheikh's favorite batch, as we always uh, hear from the second batch, mashallah. Uh, as you always, you guys like to remind us, alhamdulillah. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, we congratulate you for this, uh, truly this is a great achievement, uh, alhamdulillah. But the achievement will only be great if we are able to preserve it for ourselves and keep it relevant for the next generation. So now is the time for us to review act on it and to teach others and keep it relevant for the people around us uh, and to give back to the community because as we know our shaykh uh, barakallahu feek wa jazakallahu khairan uh, the du'as cannot stop the du'as that come from the heart for for the time you have spent with us uh, given us all this time but now it's on us as the students inshallah to spend the same amount of time or even more to giving back to the community giving back to our families our societies and the world at large, inshallah. And this is the goal that uh, we should all have. Jazakallahu uh, khairan wa barakallahu feekum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, uh, inshallah hand out our certificates. Our Sheikh will um, uh, share the name of the person and then we'll hand it. Uh, we'll have pictures and things like this so that uh, you all can have access to it. And then we'll just ask you to give a short word uh, uh, you know, on your experience and any advice. Uh, for us as well, insha'Allah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan. Tabbali Muhammad.
عمر هلال شعبان بلادا بخير ان شاء الله اسعدك الله في الدنيا والاخره حياكم الله بارك الله فيك هشام سليمان بارك الله فيك حياكم الله بارك الله فيك اسعدك زيادنا زيادة بارك الله فيك حياك الله حفظكم الله حفظكم الله حفظكم الله حفظكم الله حفظكم but did not get a chance to put it together. بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Subhanallah. The only thing that can come to mind is Ya Talib and Nahwi Khud Mini Kawaidahu Nanduma Tan Jumla Tan Min Ahsan Il Jumali Fi Dimni Khamsina Bait and Latazidu Siwa Bait in Bihi Katsa El Tulafwa and Zalali. And the reason why that came to mind is that it all started right there. Ammar just reminded me that before the COVID hit, I used to sit right there. And Omar said, you, you sat in the same spot when we had the table out and you would write notes what the Sheikh was saying. And the time passed by fast. And I'm thankful to Allah that he, I don't know what I did to deserve it, but Allah has always blessed me with the best teachers in the world. And Sheikh Okash is from them. When I came back from overseas studying, Allah knew my heart was hungry to continue studying. I told the Shaykh, uh, with all the trials that we've been through, I don't give up, Shaykh. And it has been an honor, honor, and I'm thankful to Allah that 
I got this year and a half or so with you. May Allah bless you, Sheikh. And um, what Sheikh Isa said, our relationship will not end, inshallah, because I'm going to stalk you. <laughs> you remember I've been pushing for Ilmiya to the next level. <laughs> if I have to leave WhatsApp messages, me reading books to you, <laughs> then that's what it's going to have to take, inshallah ta'ala. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's true. I will do that, inshallah. But um, may Allah bless each and every one of you. I'm so thankful. Um, this is it's dear to me, alhamdulillah. And the brotherhood that I developed with you brothers is unique and, and special. And I hope to Allah Azza wa Jal that that doesn't end as well and that we continue to review these mutun. And as I mentioned earlier to you, some of you younger brothers, that the ulama, they say to, you know, choose a text in each science and make that your base. Make that your base for that science and everything will branch out of that. And how blessed we have been that Sheikh gave us these mutun to have our base to branch out of, inshallah. May Allah reunite us all in, in Jannah. I mean, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik nashadu an la ilaha ilaha nastawfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Jazakum Allah khair. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd I think Imam and I just you know summed it all up you know we don't we don't want class to end ya shaykh and just like Imam and I was saying I haven't met you know subhanallah I haven't met a teacher that I have and it's all a blessing from Allah azza wa jal I didn't do anything to deserve it but I haven't met a, a teacher who embodies uh, what he teaches more than our Shaykh. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preserve our Shaykh and to, and to bless him and to accept it from him. And uh, just like Hafid Salman was saying, uh, it's, it's a big responsibility on us now. Um, we have to uh, propagate it now and we have to uh, also act upon it like he was saying. Um, and we keep Islam relevant without going out of our element, inshaAllah. And now we have added one more, uh, one more, you know, soldier to our batch of Stad Isa. So just to add to that, we are the best batch. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, but Sheikh, I just want to say I love you for Allah's sake, Sheikh Ya Sheikh, and uh, we ask Allah to keep this brotherhood that we've built and unite us under His arsh on the day of Qiyamah. I mean, Zakallah khair. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. So from the first day of class, we've always had these banners, you know, s sitting up front, preserving the legacy, keeping Islam relevant, and subhanAllah, as we've learned more about the ulama in our past, the people who sacrificed so much, you know, to preserve the legacy that the Prophet Sallallahu left, because they're indeed the inheritors of the Prophets, we learn about these people who we oftentimes described as, you know, not even of this world, subhanAllah. But, um, Alhamdulillah, having been blessed to be you know, part of this, this blessed group, I've kind of come to terms with the fact that these people could have indeed existed because I sincerely believe that I'm surrounded with them even as of right now. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, I can't thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enough. Even f from the, the first month of Ilmiya, there was almost an incident where I wasn't going to be able to join. But Alhamdulillah, Allah facilitated a way and now I can't imagine having had life without it. SubhanAllah. So, we're truly indebted to, to our teacher, Shaykhana, Shaykh Rokyasha. I, I, I say it because, you know, I don't, words fail me. I, th I wish there was more I could say, but SubhanAllah, what's in the heart is there, and I'll try my best to express it. But uh, to every single one of you, I love you all for the sake of Allah. I hope that Allah continues to increase you in good and makes you a means for the benefit of others and reunites us all in Jannah to Firdaus. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد. Blessed to be here, honored to be here. سبحان الله. Really, it's injustice on my part anyway. If I was going to speak just briefly about the benefits and the just what I got out of the علمية, it's just there's so much that can be said. Really, it's like half an hour, right? Inshallah, if you want to stay after, we can we can do that. Maybe up to an hour. And uh, subhanAllah, just that quickly though, uh, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decreed that I was with y'all in that class. Um, really, it was probably because of COVID, right? Because things were going on, COVID happened. I don't know if I, was, if I would be able to meet with everyone every day. You know, it's like a 35, 40 minute drive. It would have been a little difficult. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just, <coughs> everything just was facilitated for me to be in there. All right, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had the wisdom. And, uh, you know, just looking back, I'm just so grateful for that. Uh, you know, we plan, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planners, and everything just happens the way it should happen. And now looking back, it's just, um, I mean, you're just so happy uh, with all the brothers, with all the, the bond that we built, being with Sheikh every single uh, day or four days a week. Uh, pretty much, uh, I mean, obviously, speaking in our home, especially if you're at, you know, you're at home, it's kind of like living together in a way uh, for that time. Uh, I mean, even it's just, uh, you know, the salamu alaykum, how are you, and this and that. If we just got that out of the class, it's just that brotherhood is just, it's lacking so much. And that was just so important for me. Even uh, many of the brothers I haven't met until today, um, if I didn't get anything else out of ilmiyyah, I mean, obviously we're talking about thousands of things, probably of fawaid and things, but, you know, it's just, that's just so important for me. Um, again, I'm just really blessed. Uh, I mean, with regards to the mutun, I mean, the, the ilm is just, uh, you know, uh, we can speak about that, the five uh, poems and, and, the, and the stressing on the uh, memorizing, which is crucial, like uh, I think uh, Sad Isa mentioned earlier, um, that we don't really stress enough. And of course, revision, right? Revision is just as important because if you don't revise, you won't be able to go uh, far. You'll just be, you know, just like anybody else that studies anything. Um, so again, you know, I can really go on. There's so much uh, emotion, um, so much that I can say. Uh, a lot of love uh, for, uh, for our Sheikh, uh, subhanAllah. It's just, um, it's been, it's been a special uh, maybe year and a half um, that I haven't had before uh, in my life. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best if I'll have anything like that in the future. Unless there is like an al too, like uh, Imam Ali is saying. But, um, you know, uh, we're just, again, we're blessed. I'm blessed to be here with everyone. You know, I love everyone for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, we can keep that love uh, going, that brotherhood, anything you'll ever need. Inshallah, I'm at service uh, to anyone. Um, that needs me for anything, inshallah. I'm in Fort Worth, a little uh, drive away. But I love everyone here for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallahu feek, Shaykhna. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. Bama mabat. Alhamdulillah, brothers. Um, it's a great blessing to be here. Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions in the Quran, وَإِن تُعَدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا If you were to count the blessings of Allah, you would never be able to count them. And alhamdulillah, I can confidently say this is the best decision in my life to be with Sheikh Al-Kasha. Alhamdulillah. It's a great blessing. When you're making istikhara, when I heard about the program, Allah put it in my heart. Allah facilitated the way. And to spend this year and a half with Sheikh Al-Kasha and the rest of the brothers, wallahi, it's one of the best times of my life. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless Sheikh Al-Kasha. And I want Sheikh Al-Kasha to understand that I love him for the sake of Allah dearly from my heart. And he, he means a lot to me. He means a lot to us. And that day when which is 50,000 years long of that day of judgment, I ask Allah to gather us all under the shade where there's no shade except His. Because people nowadays, they gather for our different things. NBA Finals, NFL, UFC, but today, we, we were gathering it four days a week for one reason, for the pleasure of Allah, to seek the ilm for the sake of Allah. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us and to keep us firm until we meet Allah. You know, just being, being a teacher itself, being the youth director for the masjid, and seeing children and seeing the, the joy, the, seeing the joy when they learn a hadith from me or they learn a dua from me, I can't imagine how Sheikh Kasha feels right now. SubhanAllah. May Allah bless them. May Allah give him Jannah, forgive his sins, and raise him high in the levels of Jannah. May Allah accept our deeds, brothers. And uh, it was a great honor. And I just hope, inshallah, that we don't lose this connection, Sheikh Akasha. We're always with you, Sheikh Akasha. Barakallah feek. Subhanakallah and bihamdik. Ashaqlu la ilaha ilaha astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa mawala. Uh, I don't deserve to be on this podium, um, subhanAllah, um, and, uh, you know, uh, nevertheless, I'm here, and uh, we got this graduation, and we got the ilm, 
and the sadaqa for ilm is to distribute it. So inshallah, we'll carry on the footsteps. Uh, I want to say congratulations to my brothers. Uh, I learned a lot from Imam Ana, from Amr Ammar, from Amr Iyad, from Zishan, Abdul Bari, Walid, um, Hilal, and uh, all of the brothers. Um, and of course, uh, our mountain of ilm, uh, Sheikh uh, Hukasha. Uh, I can't thank Allah enough for introducing me to this uh, uh, lovely Sheikh. And uh, subhanAllah, I came from Lebanon, you know, leaving there I was afraid of going to coming to America and not finding enough uh, ilm. But uh, once I reached here and uh, subhanAllah, I got this opportunity, I was like subhanAllah, maybe in Lebanon I wouldn't have even had this opportunity to, to study with the, with the, with such uh, shuyukh. So alhamdulillah, um, first and last and uh, inshallah we'll continue on this uh, with our shaykh for maybe 40 years like they used to do back in the day. هذا والعلم عند الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته شرعت بالبسملة بعد الحمد له وثنيت بالصلصلة ثم الحوقلة شارعا في الكلام بعد الحسب له أما بعد بارك الله فيك to all of you for joining us today and جزاكم الله خيرا to our teachers for all the time that they've given us uh, just over what are like my reflections over the time that we've spent together in class and uh, just like as our Imam Ilir mentioned to us in our halaqa, the, the importance for us as students of knowledge to keep on reviewing and make this a way of life for us. And it took me back to the statement of Imam Hilal ibn al-Ala where he said, طَلَبُ الْعِلْمِ شَدِيدُ وَحِفْظُهُ أَشَدُّ مِنْ طَلَبِهِ وَمُرَاجَعَتُهُ أَشَدُّ مِنْ حِفْظِهِ وَالْعَمَلُ بِهِ أَشَدُّ مِنْ مُرَاجَعَتِهِ وَالسَّلَامَةُ مِنْهُ أَشَدُّ مِنَ الْعَمَلِ بِهِ He said that the, the seeking of knowledge is a very difficult task and to memorize that knowledge is harder than just seeking it and to constantly review that knowledge is harder than just memorizing it and to act upon that knowledge is harder than just reviewing it and at the end, to gain your salvation through that knowledge is harder than acting upon it. So, subhanAllah, and just like uh, our Shaykh mentioned, now it's upon us uh, as students to internalize this knowledge, to practice it in our life, in our daily life, and then to go out and teach it first to our family and then to the generations, uh, generations to come, uh, inshallah. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the ability and through all of it to keep us sincere and pure in our intention. And at the end, inshallah, may he enter us into Jannatul Firdaus under his rahmah. Ameen. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, alhamdulillah, this is a big accomplishment for all y'all. Alhamdulillah. Um, <coughs> I think um, life after ilmiya. It's depressing, but the only thing that keeps me happy, alhamdulillah, is the fact that we're able to still talk to Sheikh and we're still connected with him. And we're connected with, uh, uh, or at least I'm still connected with my, uh, my uh, colleagues, my peers, alhamdulillah. And uh, that keeps that light of ilm alive, you know, like the fact that we're able to go back and review and have our friends and have our, our you know, our brothers to, to correct us and our teacher, alhamdulillah, to, to guide us as well. That's one of the biggest things that's still, you know, like after Anmiya that we still have that impact, you know, alhamdulillah. Advice for you guys, inshallah, is to just keep at it, you know. <laughs> I mean, just uh, when you wake up in the morning, you know, <coughs> you, you should make it part of your day to, to really keep a portion of the day just, just to go over your notes. I mean, this is something which really, you know, I, I really hope that I'm able to do this because I'm saying this now, and this is a reminder to me before all you guys. I'm, I'm keeping myself accountable by saying this, that, you know, if I'm able to, to open my, start my day with, with Quran and then start my day with ilm after that, the rest of the day, subhanAllah, goes by and you feel like you've actually done something. But the days that you don't, it's, it's like you're really surrounded by a darkness, you know. It's really... You feel like the day's gone by, you've gained nothing by it. But don't, don't get depressed if, if you feel like the whole day's gone by because you still have the nights, you know, you still have, you can still close out the day on a strong note. 
you know, do, do what you need to do. You know, stand up in Qiyam, go over your notes. And th this is really something that, you know, it's only by the tawfiq of Allah that we're able to do. So ask him for his help in this and inshallah, uh, stay uh, firm upon it. Barakallahu feekum. It really uh, softens the heart. And we ask Allah to make this, uh, this ilmiya a proof that you all were from those who sought to preserve the legacy of the Prophet Sallallahu and those who followed them in goodness. And we ask Allah to facilitate more paths and more doors of knowledge to be open for each and every single one of you in all of your affairs, whether it be through your secular studies or through your Islamic studies. We ask Allah to make it easy on you to review and to retain this information and to take what it is that you learn to apply it for yourselves and to share that light with the community and to benefit the ummah by it. Allahumma ameen. Barakakum Allahu Rabbil Alameen. Waja'alakum munarat al-mawahideen. Huritum wa juzitum wa bukitum wa kufitum wa anish shaytani nuhitum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.